Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel once again. Thank you so much for joining me so close to the holiday. Happy holidays to everybody. And uh, today we're looking at Pentatonics Oh Holy Night. I'm doing a slew of Pentatonics holiday reactions right now, trying to get them recorded and ready to get out to you guys by Christmas Day. Thanks so much for joining me. If you want to support the channel, obviously like, comment, subscribe. Links are in the description uh, for different ways to support the channel there as well. The Pentato Pentatonics or Pentaholics tier on my Patreon is available for you if you want to be involved in polls, get this kind of stuff early. But right now we're going to jump into this one. No long, no long intros today. It's the holiday season. We're just going to get into it. Once again, Pentatonics, Holy Night. Okay, sorry. I was I was scared. I thought I wasn't hearing anything when I definitely should be. Sorry, guys. Oh, holy night. Oh, holy night. The stars are brightly shining. It is the night. Wow. That harmony is beautiful. Long lay the world in sin and never pining till he appeared in the soul. I love his voice so much. Wow. There's chills everywhere, man. Chills everywhere. Christ was born. Christ was born. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. All right. Stop. Okay, so we're going to talk about that for a second. Just a few quick comments. One, I think they all look amazing. These outfits they got on are so cool and they all look incredible. I think Mitch looks really cool. I think Kirsten's dress is absolutely gorgeous. She's really such a beautiful, beautiful person. And that I'm I'm feeling embarrassed because I can't remember his name. He's, he's but his voice. I've mentioned it so many times and I want to say a name. I have it in my head, but I, I think I might be wrong. So I don't want to venture a guess. You guys know it. Let me know what it is and go ahead and share me for not remembering it i absolutely deserve it but his voice is just butter i think his might be my favorite voice of the bunch being completely honest it's so wonderful uh, these harmonies and everything are gorgeous uh, the beatboxing again the rhythm section is so crisp and clean and on point just loving every moment of this so far it's such a such a, a an iconic song as well Yes. His law is love, and his gospel is peace. Chains shall he break. Okay, Queen. Wow.
No, mm -mm, mm -mm. I can't take any more of that. Um, <laughs> look, uh, wow, okay, wow, all right, I'm okay. Uh, I'm I don't I don't usually talk about this because it's not necessary. We're all here because we love music and we love these artists and we're all uh, human beings with our own experiences and our own perspectives and our own opinions and beliefs and 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 I have I I I take so much joy in sharing these experiences with all of you regardless of any similarities or differences we might have in those things. I think it's important to state right now for me anyway that I I'm not a religious person. This this song holds meaning for me that goes beyond some uh, an, an ex existential belief. This is a song that I did grow up in a, in a religious family. Uh, I grew up in a religious climate, and this song was very much a part of my childhood. It was very much a part of my family growing up. It was a part of the entire holiday experience of my life, and it's very sentimental to me. It certainly has a lot of associations to my past, but just beyond all that, just if you've been watching my channel for any length of time at all, you know how I feel about just music in general, expression, storytelling, art, and these moments that are created by these wonderful artists that take of their own energy, their own life force, their own souls, and express and share and create and invite us into these moments uh, to live them alongside them. And it just really moves me. And this, I listen to Pentatonix all the time and all their stuff is really great. And it's all very moving and it's all beautiful. Every now and then I come across a performance that just hits me in a different kind of way and kind of just takes me over and I can't contain it. I can't really control it. And I don't really want to. I don't really see the point in doing that. Uh, I've had a few of you comment that, that I, you know, whatever, I'm not being manly or that it's, it's just, it's not that serious, bro. It's just a song or whatever the case is. And that's fine. And I get that perspective and, and it's, you're 100% entitled to it. But this is how I experience music. And I hope, I hope that if not music, you have something in your life that can move you the way a performance like this can move me because it's a wonderful experience to have. I have no shame in it. I take no shame in it. I see no shame in it. And I think, oddly enough, one of our society's oddest proclivities is to shame people for really loving something or really enjoying something or being moved by it. That seems to be a theme that happens in our culture here in the West. And I'm just, I'm just not about that life. You know, if I, if something touches me to that degree, like this performance did, and it really did like deep down to my bones, I felt it. I don't have any desire to bottle that up. I have no desire to pretend it's not happening. And I hope that the majority of you at least enjoy watching me experience it, enjoy experiencing it with me. I hope some of you at least could. I, I hope that you guys appreciate my willingness to be open and and share that part of myself with you. It's not easy. It does take some courage. So for anybody out there who does this, who is in the public eye or, or who is on YouTube creating content uh, or in any entertainment industry, to, to show, to be that honest about what's going on inside of yourself is it is. It does take some courage. It, it does take. It is a little. It's a little nerve wracking. I guess it's a little nervous making, and it, it can be the same in your own personal life. Just being honest with yourself around your family and friends can sometimes be difficult. It can sometimes take courage. And for those of us who find the will to do it, or at least sometimes find the space within ourselves to say, you know what, it it takes more from me to hold it in than I might lose if I let it out. And for those of you who have found that space, I, I commend you because it's a wonderful place to be. I hope, I hope you're surrounded by loving, wonderful, accepting people who who will enjoy your enjoyment of the thing you enjoy, just like you guys do when I enjoy something. It means a lot to me. Anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. I'm basically just trying to say that I love that very much, and I'm so glad I got to share in it. I'm so glad you guys got to share in it with me, and I will leave it there. Thanks so much for spending some of your holiday season with me. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. Check the links in the description for different ways to support the channel. And yeah, happy holidays. Please remember, as always, to be kind to each other. And most importantly, be kind to yourself. Thank <laughs> you.